I've been asked how and when I got into water skiing. It all happened by accident. I bought a boat, which was a sailing boat, um, but we weren't able to sail it and it wasn't a very good boat for sailing. But to make it go faster, I put an engine on and that was very successful. Following this, we decided to see if we could water ski behind the boat. And we could, at least I could. So I sat in the water and waited till the rope came tight and yelled out, go. And he hadn't a clue what he's doing. He just went flat out and I just came up and water ski. It's true. So the next day I went into the boat shop and bought some water skis and a suit. Because, you know, we were hooked. Water skiing is very exhilarating. For me, it's the speed and the fact that you can corner and do all sorts of things that are exciting. And it's a bit of a drug thing. And you get, you get committed to it and you enjoy it. I and friends of mine got involved with a club that water ski raced. And we were the, amongst the first people involved in water ski racing in somewhere around 1967. My favourite memory of my water skiing days when our team won a national championship, um, Class C championship. I was driving the boat and Murray Cooper was the skier and Brash Worship was the observer. After winning the championship, um, I decided not to continue ski racing for a variety of reasons. About four years ago, our eldest daughter decided to take her children to a ski school to see if they could water ski. She did this, invited me to go. And it was good that the grandchildren, in particular, were able to ski, and I went in the boat. So after a 40 year lapse from being involved in water skiing, I suddenly decided that I ought to buy a boat so that grandchildren and our children could ski in the way that we've done. I, I feel that I would very much like to get on the water myself, but I resist that temptation because I think I'm too old for it. But I get equal satisfaction out of teaching them all to ski and driving the boat.